Hey guys, what's going on? And welcome back to the channel. Thanks for taking a few minutes out of your day and checking it out. Much appreciated. And today I'm going to give you guys a really good tip modification on the Mega Bass Magdraft. Um, I've been fishing this bait a lot the last couple months and I've learned a lot about it. And I want to show you guys the technique that will not only help you get more bites, but it'll help you land the, a lot of the bites that you get. Because, you know, a lot of people know when you're fishing big swim baits, you tend to lose a lot of fish or get a lot of fish swipe at them and miss them so i'm going to show you something that i figured out uh, just by uh, trial and error on my own that's going to help you out a lot but hey before we get started just a couple housekeeping tips i think a lot of you may have seen the uh the boat works video i did yesterday about partnering with boat works and bait works um, and bait works is the online tackle store that the boat works has um, they have a you know a physical uh you know uh, shop to brick and mortar shop and they have a huge online uh you know product selection of every top fishing lure that you want and if you guys are interested in ordering some of the uh mega bass mag drafts they got a huge selection of bait works and i'm going to include the intuitive angling uh, boat or bait works link in the description here and if you guys use that link that i provide in the description it helps the channel here get uh, small proceeds uh, out of any out of any sale that they have and it's a good way to support the channel so if you guys are interested in some of these on um, taking advantage of that big selection that Bayworks has, you know, please use that link. Much appreciated. Okay, a little bit of what's been going on with this mag draft. Um, to me, the, the time to fish the mag draft is uh, late or late post spawn and into the early summer, like you know, even into June, that type of stuff. It seems like those fish, the personality and the mood and behavior of those fish that is the best time of year to catch them. I have a window on big swim baits myself, and it's usually when that water temperature um, starts to rise up into the mid 50s and until it hits about 80 degrees, which a lot of times it's towards the end of June. So we're sort of in that, in that window right now a little bit. Water temperatures here in Missouri are still only about, you know, in, in the low 70s right now. It's been pretty cool out. And then there, again, you have a window in the fall time of the year that's good for it. But anyway, the mag draft here, um, I've been fishing it a ton here in Missouri lately, and a uh, typical big swim bait deal with the mag draft. You get a lot of fish that come up and just hit the thing, hit the tail of it. They hit it with their mouth shut. Um, they'll bite it and not get it real good. And a lot of times you hook them on the outside of the mouth. I bet, guys, that out of the, out of the you know, 50 bites that I've gotten over the last couple of months on a mag draft swim bait. I'm going to guess that at least half of them, the ones that I've landed have been hooked on the outside of the mouth, which tells me that these, these fish, this bait attracts them, but the size of it, it makes them real hesitant under a lot of conditions. They come up and hit it with their mouth shut. So I've been hooking a lot of them on the outside of the mouth, you know, where I know they just been coming up and just hitting them with the hooks, you know, with the, with their mouth shut. So anyway, I had one day I was fishing, you know, Tabor Rock and Stockton both. And I had actually a couple of days where, man, I was getting a lot of fish to follow this thing. I'd get them to bump it. Some of them and hit it. Some of them eat it. I'd miss it. And finally I said, man, I got to do something in this bait to modify it a little bit. So I'm going to show you guys what I did to it. And it really helped out. The first thing that I did, and you can see this thing here, look and see how chewed up it is. This thing has been chewed to heck right here. You know, been catching a ton of fish on it. So anyway, the first thing I did is I took a knife and I cut slits in all, in all throughout the side of the bait there, as you can see on both sides. And what this does, a couple of different things. Number one, by cutting the slits in the side of the bait, the bait is not as hard and it's a little bit, uh, when the fish bites it, it's not like a solid chunk of plastic. You have some gap there and some bite a little bit that makes the bait just a little bit softer when the fish hits it. Not necessarily that you want them to hold on to it, but you don't. they don't have to penetrate a solid piece of plastic and you have some of those serrated edges there and it, it just seems like it added up to a lot more hookups. Plus, I think it gives the action, the bait a little bit of action. Basically what I did is I, is I just went in here and I'll do it like here. I just went in like that and I just took a pair of scissors and I just cut a slit in the side like that. And like I said, I think it gives the bait more action and I think it has a little bit more, collapses the bait a little bit more and the fish hit it. 
So the second thing problem I've noticed, uh, the problem I was having is was hooking the fish. And as you can see here, this is on this mag draft here, this is the stock on the way they come here. I felt that when these fish were coming up and hitting the bait, even if they had their mouth shut, a lot of this plastic right here was possibly in the way. And maybe if I took some of that off that I could reduce some of that plastic. So what I did is I took my scissors again and I cut out, as you can see here, here here's the, the, this, the straight bottom. I cut out a lot of the plastic around the edge here and on the sides. And what this did is it basically gave me a lot more bite gap where the, fit, the hook would be sticking out farther away from the bait. This modification right here, taking that excess plastic off the sides right there and off the bottom of this, dramatically increased my hookups. When I started doing this, I went from, I, I, was, I had this one day out there, I, I was 75% of them that hit the bait, I would lose. And when I started doing that right there, I think that I, had, I lost one fish after that. This right here, guys, is a huge modification. It's a huge tip I can give you. Basically, just come in through here. Same with this one here. I'll, I'll show you on this one here how I would do it. I just come in, take the hook out like that. There's the belly slit. I just come in and I start taking some of that plastic off, just like that, off the sides. You don't want to get too far into it because you don't want to, you know, get into to, uh, taking that magnet off there. You want to have that in there. But basically, and, and coming in the back here, taking some of that plastic off the back like that. And basically, you're just taking some of that meat off the area that is going to be getting in the way of the hook. And even though the bass were still hitting it with their mouth shut, but I was landing them. I started landing these fish and they were just hooked in the side of the mouth on the outside. And just that extra little bite gap made a huge difference. So anyway, this is the modification that I figured out on my own. I don't think anyone does this. I haven't seen it ever done before. It was sort of like out of necessity. And that's what I do with a lot of the tips and the modifications I give you guys. It's just my own experimentation. But give this a try, get you some, get online, get on the, the, the Baitworks links I'm gonna include in the description here. Order you some of these mag drafts. You know, cut them up a little bit on the bottom and side. That is if you're having problems hooking the fish. If the fish are eating the thing and they're in a, good, a, a mood to bite the thing, you don't have to do that. But under the situation where you have those short strikers and the slappers, that type of stuff, it's a, it'll something that will definitely help you out. So anyway, thanks for tuning in to the video, guys. Much appreciated. And like I said, if you saw the, the bait, Boatworks, Baitworks uh, video I did yesterday, I'm going to be working pretty close to him. And I'll, I'll include the uh, Baitworks link in the description on all my videos. So if you guys want to check out their online store, order something in there. Like I said, it's a great way to support what I'm doing here on the channel. Just getting a small percentage of that profit since we don't have any sponsors for the show. So anyway, thanks for tuning in, guys. Much appreciated. And we'll see you all later.